All right, click the links to join the channel, become a member, watch the um, the stuff that never makes it past monetization limbo, or check out these subscribes for various other links. So, um, Afro Hobbits thirteen, Lady Elves, and um, and and making the Chad ma man babies outraged at at strong women and girl power. Rah rah. So this isn't Lord of the Rings, and if you expect Lord of the Rings, then you're going to go and give it a one star review. That's a fair review. Because, unfortunately, it's called Lord of the Rings, but it's not Lord of the Rings. So, yes, it's not... For that, it deserves... Legitimately deserves a one-star review. If it was more of a Terry Pratchett universe, which is what it feels like, and if it was not called Lord of the Rings, leading you to expect Lord of the Rings, I'd just make your own thing, and you wouldn't have had to pay a quarter billion dollars for the IP rights, um, it would not... It would have scored better. It might not have been a great show, but it would have been a middle-of-the-road Terry Pratchett type of universe show, um, but you're calling it Lord of the Rings, and it's not. So they have the right to give it a one-star review. It's not what you claim it, it to be. So, um, like I say, um, SDWs have a hard time writing characters like, like this. I can write POC characters because I'm not a person of soy. I don't hate them, but I also don't idolize them. I treat them fairly. There are millions of people like us. They call us Nazis. So, yes, there is, is a way to, to write uh, Afro Hobbits in Lord of the Rings type of story if you had to. But an SJW literally is incapable of not sucking. I can write a diverse Lord of the Rings, but nobody in Hollywood can. And I don't say that hyperbolically because there are so many examples before you of them. Just all they can do is suck and continue to suck and just make these purse puppy characters that are cringy and embarrassing. So the, f the first scene in season one, episode one, was a little fair-skinned elf girl, probably blonde, being needlessly um, the, 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 be teased and abused by these uh, cruel, um, also fair-skinned elf, elf children, abusing this little girl and destroying her, her paper boat that turned into a swan or something. It's just the... Here's the thing. This whole... Right from the start, they changed the vibe of this from Tolkien's... <sighs> nice sweet vibe that was present in the books and came across really strongly in the movies where you got the feeling like he's not a hateful person but the people who wrote this show have issues they're hateful people like the first vibe vibe from the first episode is this kind of cruel malicious vibe and you're seeing these the elves the humans and the dwarves in a different light where oh Oh, they're not very likable people. And like, yes, obviously it's going to be the fair-skinned people of the light who are going to be the not likable ones because uh, you know globalists kind of global. And that was uh, I think that was in the first scene. So uh, things are sent uh, subtle. That the, the gentle vibe versus the harsh uh, voices compared to the old Lord of the Rings to the new ones. It, it's it's I guess it's not that subtle after I think about it because it's like literally in the first scene. It's the split between Tolkien's story and the feeling that he created in the in the first in the books, and what this stuff is. It's like yeah, it's globalist propaganda. It literally started in that first scene, telling you that this is not Lord of the Rings. It's going to be propaganda. It's something else. But here's the thing: is I don't think it will bomb like I did before, because I kind of assume SJWs will love this thing. It it looks pretty good in terms of sets and costumes and camera work and all that kind of stuff. It's like it yeah, it's like you had a you I think you could have had a solid hit show if, if it was just um I don't know, some fantasy universe not Lord of the Rings. It would have been a it would have it would have found a bigger audience. It it still would have been woke with the with the elves and the pointy ears and it's like, oh gee, what a subtle stand in for istophobicism. And and gee, it's it's a fair skinned a fair skinned human being intolerant toward the dark-skinned elf. Gee, I, someone on Twitter said it's like it's so on the nose that it's touching the brain. And then, like, he just has to be, of course, the white character has to be stupid, malicious, and incompetent. And the um, the Afro-elf Afro has to be wise and calm and, and patient um, because he's, he's the overmatch and the fair-skinned human is the untermatch because globalist, kind of global. So, no, I don't think it'll bomb. Um... It, 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 the actors know their business. It's like everything is set. It's, it's like there's a lot of stuff that comes out of Hollywood that was very close to being a success. Even you go back to the first, the Ghostbusters 2016 that kind of kicked all this stuff off. Yeah, that was a bad movie for sure because you know the expectations of it being called Ghostbusters. 
But if you watch that movie carefully, you can go, you know, this is very close to being a decent movie with a little bit of rewriting. Just telling the comedians to stick to script and dial it back a little bit. It wasn't, it would not have taken much to turn that from a, a bombing movie into something that was a moderate hit. It's like with all these woke movies, you just got to stop with this this white man bad stuff and just like every blonde character is, is incompetent and malicious, but also a super genius, you know, German stand in from like the ninth from the, you know, 1930s and 40s. It's like, yeah, we get it. It's time to move on from that trope. Just, you can just move on to something else and they can't. So they're going to continue to make this kind of stuff. Anyway, um, this feels like this could have been a really big story that SGW's, uh, I, I think they can get attached to but no it's not for fans of lord of the rings because it's it's not tolkien's story everything kind of feels off about this uh people feel malicious and hateful the vibe is different uh yes the bad vibe is all obviously coming from the, the people of the light which tells you where the narrative is going with the story like you know this story okay before you even watch lord of the rings you can you can say okay it's going to be uh Ridiculous Mary Sue girl power and the fair skin characters are going to be malicious, stupid, incompetent. And the um, dark skin characters are going to be ele elevated. Uh, and then you watch the show and you're like, oh, hey, <laughs> how did I know? That? How did I predict that? Well, because you've seen it in a dozen movies before. The point of, of the, it's like just add cliche and, and mix and rep repeat. If you have POCs in a story, they have to also be evil not just purse puppies, which is something SGWs cannot do. To say the obvious, this feels like someone who watched the movies, never read the books, and decided to make them woke, which is probably close to what happened. So they uh, introduce these pox character Afro hobbits. They're um, they're not they're there aren't purse puppies, but you wonder at, at least at first. But you wonder like, well, why are there Africans in this analog for an Irish village? Why do they have the same accent if they're one tribe of people, but they're different people? I mean, you're telling me something like without all the the culture war stuff or the political correctness. You go you, these two things. You have cats and dogs together. These two people. These two groups of people came from different environments. This doesn't make sense. Like, if, if you just kind of look at it autistically without political correctness, you're like, this is illogical, which is, you know, how a lot of us uh, kind of look at this stuff. It's like, you're going to have to explain the hell out of this. And the thing is, you can't because we know the explanation. Oh, it's just it's just globalist propaganda because we've seen it in a hundred shows. So you can probably make Afro Hobbits work. Or I know that I could if I was writing the story, but not the way they have it. They have to come, they have to be a different tribe from a different village in the analog in the Lord of the Rings universe. It will just be uh, analogous to Africa in the story universe like it is on Earth. You can't have them all in the same village. They have different physiomorphological external features. They're different types of people. But they all live together and they all have this Irish accent. That's insanely stupid. Like, even if you're on the left, you're going to look at this and go, like, the part of your mind is ticking over. Like, I know it's not politically correct to say that different things are different, but they're different things are different. The Afro Hobbits are not Euro Hobbits or whatever the hell they are. Um, living together in Euro Hobbit village is impossible. It destroys the story. It takes a few minutes for your brain to catch up and realize, oh, this... This doesn't work. Different tribes are different. It's uh, is it cultural appropriation? Yeah, if you want to use the manipulative term uh, that the globalists use, but most of the people of the light are are kind of fine with cultural sharing because it's what humans have done for the past ten million years since we left the freaking trees. Um, it's not even the cultural war aspects of uh, stealing the English story, but because you know you know it's Hollywood. It said Amazon didn't do it well, which would be a challenge, but I could do it. Or anyone who isn't scared of POCs, which Hollywood is, they're absolutely petrified. Because if they don't write the characters as POCs, uh, purse puppies, um, then the POC part of Twitter will cancel them. They'll be fired and they'll never work in Hollywood again. Permanent blacklist. It's the uh, Stalin clapping situation. Nobody wants to be the first to stop clapping because they don't want the knock on the door at, at 3 a.m. In this regard, Hollywood is doomed. If they have a POC acting uh, human, then they're the perpetually uh, stereotyped uh, that um, further marginalize a disenfranchised group aiding to their oppression and trauma. That's how the, the Twitter um, SGWs will speak about this kind of stuff. If you have a 
if you have, if you treat people equally, um, there's no defense for treating a Euro hobbits. Uh, there's no defense for the for the European contingent. So you can always make them the bad guys. You know the the blonde haired stereotype. They can always be the bad guys because there's nobody sticking up for them. But they can't make a pox hobbit the bad guys because it, it's a harmful stereotypes. Yeah, but this is a story. People have to be treated equally in the story universe. Otherwise, the story is is told on the first page. As soon as you see dark skin and, and fair skin, you know who's good and you know who's bad. There's no solution to that in the SGW story universe because everything is propaganda. There, I mean, there is a solution. You just have to ignore Twitter, which Amazon could very easily do and make a good story. They do stuff like the, you know, the yikes, my guy touched grass. They Amazon needs to do the work and be better, but you know they won't get the chance to to be better because they'll just be fired and blacklisted from Hollywood, like permanently. Your days in Hollywood are, are completely over, so that's why they're not going to write yeah, uh, multifaceted POC characters, and you're never going to see them at least in mainstream Hollywood because they can't do that. And it, is any of those kind of cultural Marxist terms real? No, it's 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 just psychological manipulation designed to brainwash low IQ sheep. So every non-person of light is it has to be a Mary Sue purse puppy. They're not allowed to write them any other way. So it sets us up a stimulus response where the viewer knows if they see POCs, they know everything will be purse puppies. Over time, you learn to avoid these POC shields that are in shows because that's their only purpose. Um, you put them in the, the show, so the, the characters have to be written a certain way, as per Puppy, Mary Sue's. The audience can't criticize them or else they're istophobic Chad man babies on social media. So what happens is, oh, you just avoid the show because there's no point. There's no point in... in Seen propaganda, and then if you call it what it is, you'll be uh, ad hominem and deflect deflection and ad hominem are the twitters. They go, hey, can we have a discussion about rings of power? Yeah, 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 fine, fine. It's a different group of people, you know, right, left, whatever. And you go, okay, so can we have the discussion without ad hominems? And the left wing goes, no, we can't because we can't raise an argument without ad, ad hominems because we don't have a fundamental argument. They're not going to tell you why the show is good or why they enjoyed it. It's just they say things like. A diversity, and if you say, "Oh yeah, Afro Hobbits, uh, it's ridiculous. They're not in the story." Immediate ad hominem attack to you, like, "Oh, you, you, no, 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 you're talking about me. Talk about the show." Oh, it's diversity. That doesn't make a show good. That's just that's just like you've been brainwashed to think that you have to say that. It's like, "Oh, that story looks stupid." I, I would say R slur for developmentally disabled. It's like. There's no, like no, you're not going to have a conversation about this show because people are so so deep into this Bolshevik brainwashing that they can't leave that matrix. You got to pull them out kicking and screaming. Anyway, which is every modern show on TV. So if you're not a sheep, you're not going to watch this new stuff. And the SJWs will strawman you into saying that you're uh, avoiding POCs. But most people legitimately aren't. They're avoiding Mary Sue's, which SJWs turn POCs into because, to be fair, they have no choice. It's it's like POC version of the side of Twitter has created these stupid shows. They do it with, with Dungeons and Dragons and, and Star Wars or anything they come into. And it's like they they go, we need to fix Dungeons and Dragons. It's the phobicism problem. It's like, well, why don't you just create something new? Because you, you're saying you love you love D&D, but you're going to go in there and change it to where it's not D&D. We're making it better. But you're incapable of making it better because you're not these the, the people who created it. It's like uh, Rian Johnson and J.J. Abrams. We're going to subvert expectations, but you're not masters of film craft. You can't do that. You're just middle middle road people who've kind of been elevated beyond their positions to make these billion dollar properties. If you're a master, yes, you can subvert expectations, but nobody you're seeing in the public sphere now is a master craftsman. Because they didn't get there on merit, they got there on cultural Marxism, and because they knew that they would be good at spreading propagandas. Um, so uh, most people don't want to see Mary Sue characters. And Lord of the Rings is a little bit different because this guy race swapping. You can just avoid it on that grounds because it's propaganda made by the worst people on earth. They're on, these are the Epstein Island flight log people, and they tell you that you're xenophobic for not liking uh, their Pravda levels propaganda. But like I said, this is not Lord of the Rings. It's some twisted, hateful mockery of it. And there's a deeper layer of cultural, critical theory, Frankfurt School stuff going on here. They want to foment discord between the different tribes in America. They want to distract us by fighting each other so that we don't focus on what these puppet masters are actually doing. It's the, they grow the tall grass theory. And Bolsheviks have been doing this since 1918. So it's not like, no, this isn't just a movie, Amazon movie. All this stuff is interconnected. 
and no, you don't need a tinfoil hat to see that. People have to set limits, and including if that means don't let political correctness guide you. Not everything is for everybody. Uh, these things like this are designed to cause conflict. Lord of the Rings is a European story. Amazon knows what they're doing. Uh, no, tribes of Afro and Euro, and I think there's an Indian girl in there, Hobbits. There was one funny scene where the, the Indo Hobbit, I don't know if she's a Hobbit or, or a human or whatever, where she pushes the, the elf off the, at, like at first she's nice, and then she pushes the elf off the boat. It's It was like the one, one slightly scene that went against uh, the stereotype. Um, but even in that scene, like the the white male doesn't want to help the elf, and the the brown female has to help the elf because it globalists everything has to be everything has to be white man bad because that's what globalists do. It's like you know I'm not wearing a tinfoil hat because I say this very obvious statement. You go, oh yeah, 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 sounds crazy. Okay, well start paying attention to what you're seeing. Like pick, go back the past few years and just get a notebook and start noticing protagonist antagonist. Oh, oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, I mean, you, you know I'm right. I mean, people are saying this stuff on YouTube, but they're not exactly saying it. They're going around this kind of stuff. So, so no, these different tribes of Afro, Euro, Indo, Hobbits, or Elves, they're not going to mix. That doesn't make any sense. Globalism is a religion to these people. They killed their own old religions, and they don't believe in ancestor reverence because, for, uh, for whatever reason, they're, they're, they think that's histophobic or something. So they end up with nothing. So they just they find the substitute religion, which is Bolshevism. So yeah, the globalist propaganda kills the story for me. But um, I changed my mind about this bombing. I think this is going to find a soy audience. I think soy boys and cat ladies. I think they're going to love this kind of th thing, <clears throat> and it might get bad reviews. I think it got a thirty six review on um, Rotten Tomatoes, but I think cat ladies are actually going to watch this. Um, so I think over, it might actually cross over from being so bad it's good into that kind of territory. So, you know, if you want to binge on globalist anti-white cringe, then, you know, at least it has nice sets and costumes. The thing to do is rip the videos. Uh, I guess you could use CGI to face swap the uh, Afro characters back to Euro characters and release that on Twitter and, and see if that doesn't get you, uh, actually get death threats from people if you did that. But if you're a Tolkien fan, then no, it's it's not really an insult because it's not Lord of the Rings. It, it's something very loosely based on the universe, but kind of set through this Moses Mordecai Levy you know, critical theory, globalist lens of how to just F everything in the A until you destroy it, and then move on to go find something else to destroy. It can be Star Wars, Dungeons and Dragons, Lord of the Rings, Ring the um, Game of Thrones. I, I mean, any, or I think they even did it with, was it Sex and the City? It's like, everything is a vehicle for, for Marxist propaganda. And yes, it's woke, you can call it woke, but it's also Bolshevism, Marxism. It's like, call it, call it, call it what it is, so people kind of have a a starting point if they want to do research is because you can research Marxism. Like, oh, Marxism, Karl Marx, Moses Mordecai Levy, let's look at the history of that. Or Bolshevism, okay, uh, 1918, go through the history of that instead of just calling it woke. It's like you don't know where to go from there. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next episode.